family, one family in God. As we welcome one another again, um, we are praying for the growth and the greatness of new life given to us through the Wagas couple, one in Christ ministry. We are praying for continued protection for all our loved ones who are traveling. And we know God answers our prayers. Brothers and sisters, I'm just excited today as always, anytime we have the privilege to be together. Today we are in for a gratitude party. The music you hear in the background again, Sister Sledge, we are family. I got my brothers and sisters with me. And you know, today we just want to give a shout out, yes, to all persons who took time to join us in the God's Ministry International Church and Heavenly Couples in Ministry, Mother's Day, Dina Blessing Cruise. Amen. We just want to thank God for there was, there's just so much God did, Heavenly Parent did for us and through us that we cannot keep the, the, the testimony to ourselves and I want to open up by letting my honorable other co-conveners, especially our hosts and hostess that day, God's Ministry International Church, our great conveners, founding conveners here, Bishop Patra and her wonderful husband, Dr. Massimo Roulet. I just want to thank them publicly, publicly um, for what God has done is doing and will continue to do through their life and through this collaborative work that God began. Do you know, Mrs. Bayer, when God began this work? He began it, Pastor Param Jyoti from India, he began it way back in the Garden of Eden <laughs> when God said, let us. And this is what we are seeking to revive and continue. The let us, the coming together of like minds, heavenly bodies robed in flesh representing two becoming one dr patra role i hope you are grateful i know you are grateful i am grateful for you come bring us I'm welcome grateful. and anything on your heart about what god has done allowing us to dance on water holding back the sunlight you tell it there's just so much we can talk about this wonderful blessing of marriage that god allowed us to officiate together on the high seas. On the high seas. Role and my great queen sister. I just thank you so much, uh, Heavenly Couples. I thank, I mean, just seeing us right there on that boat, it's, it's family, not else, but family. The family of God, the family, the body of Christ is being, you can just see it right there. We have different race, background, and mother said we shouldn't label ourselves. So we are simply God's family and we are growing and growing every day in love and in loving our neighbor as ourselves, but most of all, loving our God. So I'm just so grateful seeing every one of you, the Bruce's, the Byers, the uh, Anderson, and all of them who are not even here. Um, so grateful to my husband for really helping us to Yay. put all of that together because I was just working at the background, but he was in the forefront making it happen. And I thank all my family members. When I see this picture, I just see God just bringing all of us together. The things that we didn't think were possible, God is just making it happen for us. And most importantly, we have been chosen to liberate the planet. And so we have to come together first, empowering each other, have great information, which we already have from the principle. And now it's for us to not just demonstrate it, but also give it out to everybody so we can have a full garden, 8 billion people. A full How garden, did you hear that somebody? A yes. full garden, we don't want to be a alone garden. by ourselves. Yes, the full God and the children of God, the body of Christ. That is what we are about in our family. And our family is growing every day. You have no idea how excited I was to see um, Situe 
you know, because mm -hmm. I only see her once in a while on the on the screen. But really seeing her meant so much. Like, oh my God, I found my sister. And oh. that was so beautiful. Oh. And I saw one of the videos where she was walking out, um, across the uh, and I was like, oh my God, look at her, look at that. She had that thing in her nose and then she pulled it down. <laughs> she pulled it down in that video. I mean, every step, every thought, every eye contact, you know, it's just so beautiful. Everybody was happy. And that's how the children of God feel all the time. Even if anything was wrong, it, scripture tell us that it won't even last the night. So, but you saw everybody was so happy. And I'm so grateful again to everybody, my children, my husband, my friends, my family right here, uh, who is growing every day. I am grateful to God for bringing us together, for connecting us, for letting us know us as the light of God. And what the light does is that when mother turns the light on, the room gets bright and gay. And that's what we receive. Thank you, every one mm -hmm. of you. Oh. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you. Let us show love again. Thank you. Thank you for that great expression of gratitude. Um, you said it so beautifully, and I just could not keep up with the pictures. Um, I wanted to keep up with the pictures because there was just so much um, good. So, uh, that's oh, that's I wonderful seeing me. Yeah. 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 MC, great uh, co-MC, very you know, Dr. Patra. Uh, she said, um, you know, having our children, the younger generation, with us was very important. Yes, look at that. Yeah, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I stole the show. <laughs> this was dancing JoJo. Yes. <laughs> He Dances. don't care. He just loving it. <laughs> and he looks like he's prepared. He's got his bow tie. That's ready right. For, ready for his matching mate in the future. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look he's, okay. ready. he's ready. Oh, so look brave. at that. All the mothers. Oh, Lord. Mm. Great sisters. Wow, beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> sister. Yes. Brothers and sisters, let us, you know, I pause on things like this because if we don't start loving each other at home, mm -mm. it's going to be difficult for us to even bridge what we call denominational gaps. <laughs> it must mm. start at where, Mrs. Bio Charity? Love begins where? Home. At home. home. <laughs> so, these are two great sisters who exemplify Love at home. Look at Aww. that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So cute. Olivia, <laughs> Olivia would let the world know, and I can say this, but she's not desperate. Mm -hmm. She'll just let you know God is is she's working on it. <laughs> has, has reserved a special man for her, and she's and waiting. So, <laughs> let everybody know that day but she's not desperate now so don't mm -hmm. just um pray and yeah. when, when the lord hits you with somebody yes on right time yes the right time yes mm -hmm. officiating again the blessing at the top deck you know mm -hmm. was such a lovely holy spirit idea what we do first is we honor god the blessing mm -hmm. our lives nice. we don't do anything and so um to be at the top deck with um, a great <laughs> officiator, um, wow. open sky, um, to, to, to meet God, to kind of unite um, heaven and earth. Uh, it's, it's, it was just an amazing thing to, to celebrate the blessing up on the top deck of the cave. As you see, people drinking their holy wine. Wow. <laughs> couple sharing uh, a cup together. Yes. Praying over the blessing, blessing us, Dr. Max. So beautiful. And again, she has so much fun. Isn't that a spiritual, a spiritual 
Oh, Patrick, right. you got to tell, you tell Olivia uh, that I found those glasses in my car. Uh, <laughs> Olivia. The glasses went up, they went up with you. Connecticut, yeah. They came to Connecticut, so she's going to get there. She should come to Connecticut. She should come to Connecticut. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. She yes, always God. did that. <laughs> yes, those are great glasses. Oh, I think she has several pairs, so I'm not worried about that. She, <laughs> no, she, she actually like asked that me. She likes she that very one. <laughs> tell her which pair she should wear. Oh, oh. but I go back one sec, one sec. That picture, let me see. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, beautiful yes. Mothers. Okay. Oh, beautiful sisters. Yes, yes. Yeah. Amazing. Thank God. You know. Yeah. One of the, Mrs. Bayer, go ahead. Did you want to say something? I, I'd like to, uh, Bishop, introduce your family or friend. I was wondering. Yeah, those are my, uh, those mm. are my, you know, the people in the church from, you know, all these people mm. right here. Mm. Uh, this, actually, she also um, knows something about the principal because uh, she also goes to some ACS thing. But she's in the church. She's in the church. Got she and, yeah, she, she, and she is the one in the church, but she brings this one with her this one is in the church that one she's in london but uh she's also here but she went to london now uh, because of her twins mm. so and mm. so it was just so that she's here at that very time that we're celebrating and when she heard about it she just jumped on it <laughs> uh, <laughs> he said prophetess i'm coming i'm on my way yes, uh, yes. and this this uh, okay of course, this is our family right here, all of us, you know, mm -hmm. and we continue to expand. You know, the, the next picture shows that um, they can look at us and see God and be part of us. And this yes. is also, yes, yeah, these are uh, my ministry friends, you know, my ministry, uh, people that we've been doing ministry together for that long. Of course, um, they are all under God's ministry. So, mm -hmm. um Yes, these are the friends that we, I met them for the first time because HCIM brought them at the under mm -hmm. Yes. They could not join us today. I just received a text. They are traveling. And they wanted, okay. Yeah, so we are grateful okay. for their partnership. So they keep moving, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes. They keep moving, yeah. Of course, this is uh, Dr. David. She's, uh, she's the uh, WF. Uh, WFWP. Yeah, WFWP. You know, we have so many athletes with ACS, <laughs> so women in ministry, with all those, all those rank and files. She's one of them. Yeah. Yes, a wonderful sister. Who's... Yeah, she moved to Maryland, and uh, mm -hmm. since then we had. Uh, she from Chicago to Maryland. Since then we have mm -hmm. up and we are. Doing... She's really looking forward to more great things here. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. I think it's more exciting here than anywhere. <laughs> Amen. You can say that again. <laughs> yes, of course. This is our family. This is uh um this is this one is a friend of this one that brought them. Yeah. Uh, but this one and this one I know, and we are in the ministry together. But this is their friend, and she got so excited, unbelievable. She came the last minute, so she replaced those people who. Um, oh, swimming. Yes, who were swimming. <laughs> <laughs> So sorry. Some people, unfortunately, now that's a small, um, coachable moment for all of us. Um, you know, um, please, if you are, if you are quote unquote, um, you say black man time or black woman time. We no, we go by God's time. God is a timely God. I mean, and we are sorry. Oh, so it's sorry. It's written in the, in the paper. Four thirty is the is where we leave. We actually gave that thirty minutes, and you got ten minutes past five texting me. I was like, this is not African time. This no. is not African. Oh. And even if it's Africa, mommy, even if no, no, that that age is gone. We cannot it's gone. Like that. That <laughs> that age is gone. I'm telling you that yes. when they see when they saw the video, they are pissed off. Like pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time, next time they will be on time, and they will be able yeah, to be. That's be right. Picture. That's right. Next time. Yeah. Beautiful That's pictures. Just, beautiful. Yeah, those are my beautiful parents. I miss them so much. I miss mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Wow. Really yeah. Really example. They are yeah. truly an inspiration to all of us. Yes, this is this couple. I married them um uh, last year, um, late last year. So I've been now you know teaching them the the principle so they can understand the 43 days before they begin. Because some people are very far away. 
uh, from the principal. And so some some of them, you have to give them milk first before you give them steak. So mm -hmm. we are still in, yeah. So we are still, we are between the steak and the milk for these people right now. <laughs> Amen. Uh, and and again, it is not just for for it is for all of us. You need to start. You need to chew your food. And yes. You can't give a baby. You can't give a baby bone or chicken bone or fish bone. No, you have no. to start. Every any person who is on this spiritual journey needs to start off with milk. Amen. That's milk right. Is very nourishing and yes. build up. Yeah. With and I'm so I'm so like you know so look at them look at these two people yes. they're the principal oh. themselves they are the principal <laughs> yes. yes yes so we don't they are the ones uh chosen Amen. you know part of the chosen to liberate so we are looking forward to great work with Amen. them yes thank you so much again Thank yeah, you. look at that. Look at that. <laughs> like, okay, let's go hang on somebody's neck right now. <laughs> well, awesome, we, awesome. we enjoy eating steak. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. You're already ready for steak. No matter how big it is, are you ready to, you know, turn that thing into pieces? And I hear you. The baby, babies needed pre chewed. Oh, Dr. Max, are you there? You've been silent. I don't see your face. I'm here. I'm I'm listening. <laughs> I, 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 I hope our report um, 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 cheers you up again. Um, we are saying this to let everybody know, you know, sometimes when your left hand do something, you don't want your right hand to, to know. But, you know, the principle, the Bible tells us there were 10 shepherds, I think, or leopards that God cured. And even though Jesus, Jesus gave them a kind of a test. He said, go show yourself to the priest and give thanks. Mm. And guess what? Nine of them went and only mm -hmm. one came back. Yeah. Only one came back to really say what? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Only one came back. Wow. And for those of us who understand the, the, the power of gratitude, <laughs> yes. Um, you cannot, you even though somebody, your wife tell you, oh, don't do this for me. No, no, no. If you really love your wife, you really love your husband, you're going to let the cat out. Brother Max, I just want to tell you and tell the world, we love you. We thank you. Definitely. God. We pray for your for, <laughs> for blessings upon your transactions, wherever, so that Amen. we can have a greater cruise. Yeah, greater cruise. Let us receive Dr. Max from oh. there. Greater cruise. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. You know, I want to say one thing. Um, I'll echo everything that my wife said, but one thing that stood out for me last Sunday was that it was a God-filled um, cruise, but it was beyond that because it wasn't a church service. It was a relationship building cruise. Oh, we got to know each other beyond just the Christian thing of a zoom or or a church or something we got to share intimate times we we got to learn about each other that we don't usually talk about in church that that was the building of the family foundation of christ it was beyond just the church thing yes ma'am it yes. was the godly thing and, and it, it was it was just absolutely stunning i i had such a wonderful time even if bruce wears his adidas slippers at home that's okay too <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute i can't let that go Bruce, wait a minute wait a minute i, I have i i have to tell you i i i uh I had always been wondering whether those pictures behind Max and Patra were the real pictures of their rooms. And I can I can now verily say that they are actual photographs of their actual houses. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's very... Thank you, you for your hospitality. You can now <laughs> That he was in Maryland. <laughs> I was in Maryland. And uh, there was also an after party. 
Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. I have an after party. After party was. I have I have some evidence of it. I don't know if you, how well you can see this. Oh, you do. This is ah. one of the evidence. That was halal. After party. After party was so wonderful. That's a bro. That's a bro. Oh my god. <laughs> it's when yeah. everybody was tired, right? <laughs> oh, but then but then uh, Patrick got us up and dancing. Oh, oh yes. yeah, yeah, I yes. And I think mm -hmm. my husband sent in that video. Yeah, my couple sent that video. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, look at that! You can share it. You know, okay, maybe on the. Well, uh, actually, yeah. Are you share it? You can ask Max to share it because Max shared that with me. Oh, really? Yeah. And he didn't share with me. Why, Max? Because <laughs> <laughs> you were in the there corner. Too. Yes. You were um, there too. I'm not sure I can because I, it's on my phone and what's up. Okay. Maybe, maybe. You know what? I would share it. Let me keep going. I will share it because this is it's very beautiful. Yeah. If you've got it on yeah, your computer, I think you Hunter can has it, it right? Yes. Uh, I think at that point, Max, were you, were you, had you gone to bed at that point already? No, no, I was still there. You were there. Okay. Yeah. I will get it. To Max invested so much. Uh, mm -hmm. I really, he was, he had spent a long day. So yes. Yeah. One no day. doubt. Um, you know, as uh, well, you can give me sharing capacity. Yes, you, you, do, you do have. Go ahead. If you... uh, let me go. For, first of all, let me go to this place and open it up. Yeah. And then, uh, because it's very beautiful, I really like to show it. <laughs> yes. You know, as, as always been said, we know that the, the party is always good. Yeah, the party, but, nothing. But, listen, that's... listen, just listen. But the after party is always the main party. Always the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, my, the, the. By by the time eleven okay, fifteen, so I, came, have, um, I was. Do I have the capacity now, Doctor Bio? Yes, you do. You should. Uh, Look at the bottom. It says share screen. Let's press share, and you would see what you want to do. Yeah. Is it the one like Let's see where you, Mrs. See me, you know, <laughs> Download it first. Download it first into your system and uh -huh. go and share. So. Okay, hold on. Uh But yeah, as, as Bruce was saying, by 11.15, I was done. I had to get up at 7 o'clock the next morning for, um, for a meeting. So it was like... Oh, my God, I don't know how to share this now. And I had been up since 6 that morning. So it was like I was done. I was so cooked. Forget about steak. I was burnt. <laughs> oh, thank you, marcus Let me go see uh, what my wife's up to. Um, Brother Clark, did you share it with what's up? And was it shared with WhatsApp app? No, it was just shared. He shared it with me in uh, a, a text. Okay, you got it. I, I'm, I'm trying to. If it's on WhatsApp, I can share it. Screen. Somebody has it on WhatsApp. But, um... oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, Bruce dancing in the back there. I, I mean, they're rocking, man. Come on, let's, let's see. Is this the one legged? Is this the one legged? Let's see. Let's see where you, Mrs. Where you? Where's the one legged? No, I like this one. That's my favorite part right there. Okay, so I mean, that's a real one leg game you did and i told you you should do it and put it on the tiktok honestly it's going to go we, we are waiting we are waiting on the on the official video camera person um he said he's been tied up but hopefully yes. next week we'll get yeah well i mean we can have it and start working on it our own i self. know i know i know we, but we that, that was that was a fun part the after party was a fun part that was when you really you know had one two three people to talk with not a bunch of people and that is a family part <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, not to interrupt, but I think Moses has just showed up. Whoa! Oh. Let us see Moses. Oh. Oh. Moses. Wow. wow. Are you going to pick them, Father Bayo? Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Oh. Moses. Hallelujah. Whoa. Hallelujah. 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 Wow. Hallelujah. wow. Take him out of the basket in the river. Here he yes. is. Uh -huh. From your side. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, everyone, let us uh, let us all send a, a kiss, a heart mark, Let's something. Sing. Everybody, yes. everybody send Glory something. Send a, send, send a heart mark, Jesus. send a key, send a blessing. Hallelujah. Yes, Moses, Thank you are yes. you are here to change the world. Oh, yes. Yes. Welcome, welcome, Moses. On, welcome. On, Mother Day, welcome. on Mother Day, special gift from blessing wow. from God. Oh, yes, wow. yes. Absolutely. Yes, Wonderful. that day was a transition and shift. Yes. Right, 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 right. Wow. God bless the baby. We send love to you and your family. And the hands that will be carrying you, the hands that will be feeding you, they ask the blessings of God to come upon those hands that they will feed you right, give you the right stuff to eat, and you will grow from strength to strength and be a heavenly couple as soon as you grow up. Amen. Amen. Wow. I do. Amen. Thank you. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Brothers and sisters, this can be a good time for us just to make a small presentation as we thank God continuously. Um, the evidence of what God is doing through each one of us is very clear through all what we've witnessed, shared, and now as we receive new life uh, to continue the process of what God said in the beginning, he blessed them, he blessed them, and to be fruitful, in character, and then to multiply the characteristics of God through marriage and that multiplication, more children, more men and women become enlightened. They become children of the light and their light shines bright as the sun has dominance, dominion over the world when it shines, we also become. And this is our prayer, no doubt, for Moses. Today, um, just to continue to emphasize on the word divine franchise, um, it's very important we pray as the Holy Spirit is guiding that we follow Jesus' words. Um, Jesus tells us that he's going to make things plain. The Holy, when the Holy Spirit comes upon our lives, Dr. Yes. Clark, it will make things what plain, clear. The words which were a little bit par parabolic, meaning in parables, um, words that were like idiom, idioms, ironies, you know, the poetic words, it will make them plain plain so that we can clearly understand, overstand, understand, and then walk in embodiment of the word. So there will be no confusion, no confusion. So why, why are we re-emphasizing this? It's important we help the world realize that the Bible did not drop from the sky. It's very, very important. I mean, I cannot overstate that. Much of us, yes, I grew up in the church. Some of us, you know, um, were... We're, we're taught into thinking 
we use the word, we, we use a word, say the word of God. Let's be, you know, we know, yes, the word. Word in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. So the word, any word, word has power. Words we use has power. My dear sister always shares, we should not fight over words. And that's true. Once you come to understand word, the word, then you don't fight. But once you don't understand words, words become, unfortunately, weapons of destruction. Yes, because wow. life and death is what? In the tongue, in the words we pronounce, we bring forward. Where does those words come from? They come from within, where hopefully God dwells in all everyone. But if if God has not been activated, the blessedness of your life has not been activated. You know, not God is there, but as Jesus say, out of the abundance of the heart, a person speaks. Out of whatever you've been groomed up with, whatever, quote unquote, has been deposited in you through religion or through your parents, that's what we see. And now when somebody comes with something outside that parameters that you've been used to, it becomes like fighting words even though the person is helping clarify. And this is where we find, unfortunately, the mission and the ministry of the true parents. We are fortunately called Father and Mother Moon, the true parents. Why are they the true parents? Because in what the Holy Spirit has deposited in my heart, they took time, especially for the moon, to really investigate the word, the word, words, to investigate the words and to help make it plain. So on this platform, you will hear us use the word principle, principle, blessing. Those words that we pray can be words of liberation and empowerment for one another. I'm saying all this to, again, let us know that the Bible did not drop from the sky. It was written That's by right. men. That's right. It was written by what? Men, not mm. women, according to uh, the history <laughs> that has come down to us. Very important, very important. Do you know um, the Protestant Bible has only 66 books? The Catholic Bible has 73 books? The Orthodox um, Ethiopian Bible has 81 books. And then there's the other Bible that has 88 books. So because we live in the Western part of the universe, of the world, not the universe, the world, which is actually not even one third of the world, we seem to be dominated by what we call the King James Version, a version of the 66 books. Yes. Is the 71, the, the other books that contain 73 books, are they, those books, not God-centered, not God's word? Again, these things have been dividing people. Oh, no, it's always the King James Version. That's it. That's the true word of God. Oh, <laughs> before it became 66 books, there were more books. There's another Bible that contains 106 books. Yes. And so what are we saying? We're trying to help us understand that, please, do not fight over sit with God over the words that we share in this platform because they are Holy Spirit driven to make it clear. Yeah. The word divine franchise may be a new word, but it's an old word that is just being put together to help us understand clearly. In the time of Jesus, Jesus, Dr. Max Rollet, had to use the language of the time, meaning its environment. It was an agrarian and agricultural society. Then we were just understanding agriculture. And you see everything that Jesus spoke about, how he helped us, the people then to understand the word of God or the will of God on earth was through agriculture. It talks about the sower, sowing the seed. It talks about things like that, you know, um, fishing, you know, everything related to where the people were at that time in their mindset. And then they could try to relate. Okay, this is what he means. You reap what you sow. You know, whatever you put on the ground, that's what comes back up. People can understand that. So if your, your thoughts are this are dark, cloudy thoughts, what's, what's going to come up in your life is dark, cloudy results. So we are in an age now where technology has really, we're in this digital age. We're in this corporate age where companies, yes, companies are dominating the world. Yes, they are. So how do we help one another? The Holy Spirit says, yes, use the language. Take back the language that they have used and help people see clearly. So the word franchise, we have to re-insist on that because it is the most beautiful word right now, just like Heavenly Oasis. Divine franchise. Do you know a woman, a man, 
you as an individual, you are a divine franchise. Yes, you are. But how do we go beyond you as an individual? Because I am a man, I am, why am I a franchise? I can see I'm multiplied. There's, there's, there's another man here called Brother Bruce, Dr. Bruce, Dr. Max, um, Param Jyoti. We are all men. A franchise is something that has a, a prototype, a model that is now multiplied. So the woman, the man, no doubt, but the divine franchise we're really looking at is man and woman together. Can I get an amen? Man and woman mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. This is the heart of the company. When we talk about a franchise, is the, the man and the woman, the recipe, God's eternal recipe. You know, Bishop Rolle, somebody asked us about the recipe for the Adeyemis and the Adetu Joyes, your wonderful parents. And we told them, yes, publicly to the world that we have the recipe because we do. Amen. Now, a recipe is like a franchise, a recipe. Mm. The, 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 it's one of the ingredients, one of the, one of the, 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 the things needed in a franchise. You must have an exclusive recipe that can be multiplied. The recipe of pizza oat does not change from one pizza oat to the other because it has been tested, it has been proven, and that's why pizza oat or any company, we're just using pizza oat as an example. Any company that is now global is because they have what? a good recipe, a good in franchise ingredient that is unique to them. And they've used, they've multiplied it. They are multiplying it. And now they are having dominion. They are having dominance, McDonald's everywhere in the world because it had something that the world, it has a recipe. And as we shared in, other, in another time, Yes, recipes can be tweaked, but there are certain things about McDonald's you cannot change. If you want to be a part of McDonald's, there are certain core values. And in many companies, they've adopted this godlike way to flourish. Google has certain core values on changing. Amazon, all these companies that progress for whatever reason, I'm not saying they have good values, but they have certain things that don't change. And this is us, our heavenly parent. Heavenly, all harmonious, unchanging in purpose, unchanging, unchanging. The ingredients, the spirit, love, unchanging, unchanging in the design of man and woman must come together. Leave, man, you must leave your parents and cleave to your wife and go find a place for two of you to re-establish in the garden. Unchanging, we have been trying to emulate that franchise. We've been trying to become all of us a franchise of God, mm -hmm. the divine franchise of God. What have we done? In a way, we have not multiplied it prosperously. No, we have not. We are trying. Yes, that's why church is everywhere. What are we talking about here? We're talking about models. Where are the we had the real, where's the real model that I must really investigate and embrace? I say, man, you see the way the role is. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I see something. They, 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 I, I want to be like them. That's a, that's now you want to multiply the franchise. I want a McDonald's because I see McDonald's is fruitful. I want a 7 Eleven because I see 7 Eleven everywhere. And people, I want it. I want what? Do you want what the true parents have? Do you want what God? has deposited in the realm of spirit for all of us right. to be God's image and likeness, not just to be a disciple, which is good, not to just be an apostle, which is good, not to be called a pastor, which is good, or called a doctor, and all, yeah, all, all those are good. Yeah, they make a, but I want to be a divine franchise. I want my couple to be a divine franchise. I want my community, says the Lord, to be a divine franchise. This is what God was looking for in the Hebrews. He says, I want, why were you chosen Hebrews? Why are we also here chosen? Is it just to load it? Oh, to be exclusive? That's the mistake they made. 
they wanted to be exclusive, only me, myself, and my community. And God said, no, that ain't happening because that does never works. I want the world. I want to use you as in Zachariah, God said, I want you to be the one that through you, the nations of the world, just like Abraham, through Abraham, the nations of the world will be blessed to be like, to have the, 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 the example of a human being, of a couple, of a community that loves God, knows God, intimately with God, and then multiply that by looking at Israel. We will now, wow, we, we have to. But the model Israel has failed us. This is the truth. Unfortunately, the model church that began in the book of Acts of Apostles, unfortunately, has also failed us. And so we find ourselves now challenged. In the land of America right now, there is this, they say row going on. <laughs> and somebody needs to wait it off. <laughs> There's a row going on and somebody needs to wait it off. And <laughs> let us get it straight. Franchise. God created the woman as the most important divine franchise. Amen. How can you say this for the Bible clearly? The Bible tells us, God tells us, we say inspired, tells us to look at the ants, look at the insects. If you want wisdom, the Bible tells us, and I, as I said here, I don't, I don't just, we don't just quote scripture just to be quoting scripture, but we have to go to the essence. Why should I look at the ants, says the Lord. The Holy Spirit asks me. And that means I need to give an answer. And the answer was, well, God said it is, you know, it's in the Bible. And just well, think more. So we did the research. We started looking at the ants and insects. My God, what did we find out? my brothers and sisters, we found out that in the insect, so-called insect um, kingdom, there's what they call the queen bee. Hallelujah. Maybe <laughs> somebody will get this today. There's what they call the queen, the queen, not the king. The queen, you know, in the bee colony, there's one focus. Everybody in that colony, I say everybody, every insect, every, every has, they, they have what they call the workers, the soldiers, the, this, all of them. They have their unique position as partners to the bee, to help the queen bee. There's one focus, to protect her, to make sure she continues to be viable to bring forth more bees. They feed her, the whole colony. This is not only for the bees, this is for ants any insect-like world. Why is that so? Why is that so? Do you know without the insects, we all will die? Do you know that? You should know that very well, somebody out there. You should. There will be no plants uh -huh, for us to eat. As you may think the sun is very, the sun is important, I know that. But you know the insects, the crawly things that we, uh, uh, they have more wisdom. They take care of us because why? They know how to take care of the queen bee, the queen, the queen mother. Let me just end on this because Amen. we don't have time in order for us to come together to understand why God allowed the Bible to describe Eve as Adam calls her the mother of all living. If you don't bow to your wife, to your mother, you have not bowed to God. Seriously, man. Mm -hmm. If you've not bowed, and if you've not done it, you know, we guilty conscience moves most men on Mother's Day, they do certain things. Uh, there are many days in Mother's Day, not just one day. The ants do it 300 and the insects do it 366 days of attending to the queen. That's why the ancient got it. <laughs> when we go back to the land from which we get most of the instructions we have in the Bible, the Ten Commandments, we go back to the land of Egypt where Moses, oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. See, that's why we have a Moses here today. The land in which Moses got the instructions. They got it. They knew. They call her the queen of heaven. Woman. You bowed to her. You didn't know that when you came out of the womb. <laughs> Your head came out first, bowing. Right. Amen. Very simple. So, brothers and sisters, I'm excited. I want you as brothers 
Yes, we have been taught misrepresented uh, um, religion, especially, sorry to use this word to my fellow Christian brothers and sisters, we have led the way of the false tradition of God. We have stood in the way, man, yes. We have stood in the way of, of, of not allowing goodness, godness, the divine franchise to multiply because our ego get the better of us thinking because we have more muscle, we think we are better. I'm not saying the woman is better. I'm just telling the truth. She is the crowning glory of creation. It is after her, when God created her, God said, didn't say the world was good. God said the world was very good. And if any one of us have any good sense, we should stick to those words that we find only remotely in the Bible, where you find only, like when they said, God grieves, be careful, zero in on that. Where you see Jesus wept, there's only one time you see that, zero in on that. When you see God said through the Bible, Adam named his wife, the mother of all living, not some living, zero in on that. Where you find God saying in the Bible, the Holy Spirit saying, study the ants, zero in on that. You're not going to find it everywhere. Zero in on those type of places and you will begin to make the connections as to why this age, women have to be supported, we have to raise them up and, and liberate their freedom to do the right thing. But at the same time, we have to be around to help them because ego is a dangerous thing. I'm telling you, the more you praise anybody, the more you lift them up. Be careful. Be careful. Anybody, even anybody, one of us, when, if we don't put that, that beautiful urge around each other, this is where Satan comes in now when Adam could not understand the beautiful glory of his wife. He could not really cherish it. He now started to blame Eve, this woman you gave me. No, thank you, God, for the women <laughs> you've given us on heavenly couples in ministry. Uh, thank you, God, you. <laughs> for the women, the sisters, the daughters of God that you've allowed us men here to connect with. We thank you, heavenly parents, for the queen daughters of God, the queen mothers, the great sisters that you have part, you have allowed us to partner. We got it here. They are our better half, and we love you. We love you, mothers. You, women, you are truly God's true divine franchise and we want your love to multiply because it is the mother's love that will bring the children back i know the bible talks about the father waiting i know i know i understand but you know what made the father to wait for the prodigal son it is mama i'm telling you the truth it is mama so you better go bring my son back i need my son crying every day and daddy is like okay where's my son we need you back your mother is waiting for you do you know it is only mother's love that moves a son I'm telling you, I need a daughter. And so I thank God for, for, for what God is doing through. Uh, Let us make heavenly couples yeah. a true divine franchise to multiply the goodness mm -hmm. of God so that everybody can cherish one another as we as men here recognize. You are the better half, Mrs. Bayo. You are the better half, Miss Bishop Patra Caroline. You are the better half, Sensue in, 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 in Japan. You are the better half, Shabana. You are the better half, all of you. Your wife, Param Jyoti, I've not seen her today, but I know she's the better half. Jibit Lima, when your spouse that you're going to marry, she's the better half. We know it instinctively. Let us act like the ants and care for her instinctively from our heart. Namaste. Namaste. Brother Bayo, if you look at the chat, somebody even said that we mothers are vital, and that is the ultimate Yes, that's the, uh, that, you know, if you, I, I, I think it was uh, somebody said mothers were vital. I yes. see. Yeah, yeah I think, good. okay, Dr. Bruce said, yeah. yeah, and that is so true because you can see that uh, mothers have to be protected. And so, because indemnity was going on, everything turned opposite. So now we are the ones that, like you say, the, uh, the couple, the franchise, the divine couple to do this work and the men has to support if when they understand to support the mothers to bring all of their children back to the garden. If you look at the scripture, like you said, well said actually, um, everything that the woman was, was, you know, like Jesus was preaching and the woman touched them and he said, who is this, who is this? Mm -hmm. And he said, okay, okay, fine. And then when they wanted to stone the woman, who came along? Hello. You know, it's the man came along. So mm -hmm. the man is supposed to protect us all the time, not at one time. And what 
women would go, you know, would pass through and uh, be liberated. You can see Zachariah had to go deaf and dumb once he didn't stand up to be the man, once he was trying to yes. doubt God. So your position now to make the couple divine and, and work together to bring to be the body of Christ, the bridegroom, which is our Christ, well said. Bless God for you, beloved sister. This is the true foundation God is re, re, recommanding where all things will be built on, the beautiful, heavenly, loving world. Again, honor, honor, honor that from whence you come. The womb man, we call a woman, is the womb man, W-O-M-B, and a man. You don't have a womb. The womb is a universe. In that womb, mother took care of you. Let me put this one word to wade off, to wade off row. You know, the woman, can take, can take you out. Let me put this very clearly for somebody who may not really cherish their mother, who may not really cherish her. You know, when a woman is pregnant, young Pastor Simon, um, you as the man may not know it because if you're not really in tune with her, you may not know her cycle. And she, when she's pregnant, if you don't know it, she can take that baby out without even you, the husband, knowing anything happened. Wow. This is the truth of truth. And so if you don't respect that, if you think the right to life, you know, and that's what this is all about. We have to really protect, cherish our mothers, cherish our women, cherish the divine feminine and protect them. Don't put them in a position to want to kill an unborn baby because a man raped, because a man cannot control his sexual organ. A man cannot hold in discipline himself. That's why. She has to now make a decision if we can be disciplined. If we can be disciplined, that's where the word discipleship comes in. Discipline. Yeah. We can be disciplined, discipline our sexual organs, brothers and sisters. All right, God. I know it's easy for me now. Somebody said, when you get older, you know, but no, 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 no. It's not because of that. It's just when you come to your right awakening. If I was shared, if Pastor Simon, if I was a 21 year old like you and I was in the presence of fathers who could really expound on this, maybe the world would be even much better 21 years back. But we thank God. Thank you, Bishop Role. Thank you, everyone. Let us just open up briefly. Anyone who want to echo Bishop Role, because we are here to echo. And if you have something to add that continues to empower our mothers, our sisters, our wives, this is what today is about as we come to the conclusion of this gratitude party, thanking <laughs> God right. for motherhood, the divine franchise. Yes, yeah. we're grateful. Go ahead, yes. Mrs. Bayo, or anybody. Let's go quickly. You have one minute, one minute, because I don't want to hold you too long, even though I like to hold you all day and let the world <laughs> hear you. Okay. <laughs> go ahead, Mrs. Bayo, then we hear from Bruce. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Um, we had a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, it was so special because of uh, that was a Mother's Day. And I was uh, grateful that uh, what Father Bayo shared uh, to uh, affirm the bishop, um, uh, Patora san, um, that, that the love uh, the husband had in God as subject to really take responsibility, include even the evil's mistake or shortcoming. That love is so precious to us. And, and as the wife, as the woman, we continue uh, making the same mistake uh, to disobey God's commandment. We continue to put our faith in God to take our full responsibility to hopefully not making um, long decision and act, but uh, I'm so grateful and, um, and continue. Uh, we try our best to be a uh, good daughter oh, God, are doing, and wife, doing and <laughs> also to become good mother for the all living bishop. Patras. Yes, we should be the life-giving mother. Yes, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Ayana. We love you dearly. Thank, thank you. you. And I'm still looking for my recipe for tomato. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yes, my pleasure. <laughs> yes. Put the recipe together and, yes. and send to your great sister. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Bayo, again for re Thank you so much. 
you made life it so giving, easy life for giving me. mothers life giving yeah. mothers thank you continue. dr bruce clark you wanted to share high noon uh, yeah so i i uh, wanted to add to your point about mothers um and life and i and and the responsibility of men you know um because uh, some women i cannot speak for all but i think some women choose um to give up a child because they do not feel supported by the man in their life mm -hmm. and so we men are responsible in part for women feeling that they um are lonely and and have to make a difficult choice so um you know we can make it easier uh for women i mean in those situations where a woman gets pregnant and she is not uh, you know for whatever reason uh betrothed the man as men, we need to send out the message of absolute embrace of that potential life and that support of the mother. And, um, you know, so few of the, 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 these unwanted pregnancies are the result of rape. They're usually, I mean, it's very small, actually, like a, less than a percent, actually. Um, but the reality is, is that uh, it's mostly men, you know, who are not uh, containing uh, their own selfish needs and and interests that sometimes uh i think often uh make these women feel they they do they do not have a choice unfortunately so true thank we thank you for echoing that um we thank you just yes. for echoing that but we don't thank god for that situation continuing we want to reverse that right absolutely we want, we absolutely. want to change that trend of yes. our men yeah. you know morals. brother brother bruce yes. go ahead Dr. you Dr. you Dr. said it you said it so eloquently i would have chosen a few more harsher words than what you used to describe the selfishness of men hmm. in those situations all they're doing is they want their instant gratification of sex that's it hmm. but they take no responsibility for the consequence of the act and yes. that's where the education has to come in that men has to be taught yeah you can have sex but remember it comes with a high price the price <laughs> and, and it, it, you know you cannot walk away with it too many men when they impregnate a woman throw up their hands and say it's not my problem you deal with it and that's where the woman feels lonely and and uh, has to resort to other means because she just can't do it on her own and men have to be educated that women are not just toys sex toys bless you yeah i wasn't going to say sex toys but okay. well well let's make the, let's make the truth that's what no it's true it's true but but let's let's also balance it out a little bit as much uh you know i had a conversation with one of my students who asked me on friday on thursday what i thought of the roe v wade uh you know, issue that's bubbled up. And I said, do you really want to know what I think? Do you really want to know? Or are you just asking? <laughs> and she was like, no, I really want to know. I said, um, I, you know, I, I might offend you. And she says, no, I really want to know. So I told her and she was really uh, grateful. And I feel like in talking to most women in this situation, many of them are, are compromised. Many of them are ignorant themselves. You know, men have been in archangelic position, but women have been in like the archangelic wife's position. And so mm -hmm. they are both mm -hmm. ignorant uh, mm -hmm. of the value mm -hmm. of life, mm -hmm. uh, much less even sex. And so it's it's a step by step process. I guess uh, mm -hmm. we have to facilitate it like uh, like giving birth to a new baby. You know, the midwife has to coach the baby out. We have to coach out the new truth. We have to coach out the new understanding. So true, we are so true, and this is um, this is I pray what we are all attempt we have been all called to do to help guide um, the way to take responsibility. That's I think right. that's just the same. Just take response. That's that's mm. religion. That is spirituality. That, that is biblical. God told them to take responsibility. That's it. That's it. That is why we say that's religion. That is spirituality. Once you know how to take responsibility and for us right now on this platform the spirit is saying we men are responsible um i i i really want that to yes there's a balance women but we men first must um lead the way of educating one another as 
men who are created to be responsible. Do you have a question, brother um, Simon? You have a question? Simon, long time. <laughs> yes. Pastor Simon, do you have a question? Uh, yes, uh, I have a question and I just remembered something as you all are talking about the, the stuff, unfortunately, which is happening in this world. And uh, when we read the Bible, so I understand that mostly the Bible strongly assign a man for the sexual activities, for the consequences of the unethical activities in the form of, of, of uh, sexual activities. Because when we read the Matthew chapters uh, 5 and verse 27 and 28, it says, you have heard that it was said by them of all time, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Amen. Yes, that's it. That's it. So that was pointed out again in the present. Thank you again for re-highlighting that. Very important. Very important. Just the look, the thought. You've already committed sexual um, um, adultery. And so those have, that's why, again, what we are sharing about going back to the garden is so important. If Jesus can zero in and make it very plain, it is not just the act, the sexual intercourse having with somebody else. It is just even thinking about it. That's, that's how serious this is. And once we can control our mind, again, discipleship, discipline, discipline what you see that doesn't mean you shouldn't see but I, I, I should see my sister my wife and others say, oh you look beautiful nothing wrong with that how to discipline ourselves to love one another as god loves us jesus is not trying to have sex with all the women in the world <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> but he loves all the women in the world amen very important so how do we do that without getting the lost desires is what heavenly couples is all about. And I thank God that we could celebrate that through Mother's Day and more other days that are coming. So let's look forward to other great things um, during the week. Um, for example, tomorrow, 9 a.m., those of you who want to join us again with Patra on, her, her, on God's Ministry International platform, 9 a.m. on Sunday, she, you, know, you, know the, you know she would send the link on, on WhatsApp or wherever, please join. I know this conversation will continue. You want to join <laughs> us 10 a.m.? <laughs> the same link tomorrow, join us 10 a.m. And yeah. then we are now doing Thursdays and Tuesdays, Bishop Patra prays on her same link, 12 noon. And then Thursdays, you can join us again. We are now only Thursdays, not Tuesday and Thursday, just Thursdays for now as we recuperate, re reshape some things. Um, so join us Thursday. We know this dialogue into discovery of mm -hmm. our rightful responsibility will continue to empower one another. And As we close, um, I know all of us feel called. Param Jyoti, how is your wife before we leave? How is Phoebe? I think Phoebe is her name. Param, where are you? Yes, yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. How is Phoebe? Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, come on. So good, so good to see you, Phoebe. Hi, Phoebe. How are you? Mm, God bless you. And oh my God, look at my wonderful daughter. Long time no see you. How are you, dear? Fine, sir. God bless all of you. It looks like God has blessed all of you so well. So we look forward. If we don't see you next week, and others, I will blame your father. I will blame no, Adam. I love huh? to see you, Palam. I'm so All right. Sir, Thank you. I want to say that I lost a lot of blessings because of I could not able to meet our meetings. Actually, these meetings is very fantastic and wonderful blessings in my life through the listening the word of God. And Fortunately, I uh, could I uh, I could not uh, attend this meeting, but hereafter, uh, compulsory I will attend and I will get the blessings. Amen. And, uh, 
yes uh, one more i can say that uh, our heavenly ministry is a gift of god in our in our family and in our life mm. i hope that uh, so it, it was so uh, blessings in our life and please continue to pray for us and as we mm -hmm. are remembering our uh, daily family prayer about all the our team thank you sir thank you param we bless god for you you are always will ever be part of the family that goes for everybody even we don't see you in seven years 21 years 40 years you're always part of the family we want to see always... you <laughs> i said that again Michelle. but we want to see you but we want to see you yes <laughs> we are not we are not so joyful if we don't see you so yeah. we, we 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 make that very clear we are so grateful so grateful thank you param let's see let us close out and then look forward to to more um those hours we've shared take them serious um and join in and invite others right if you're having fun here if you've been empowered if God is really doing, helping you see clearly, don't keep it to yourself. Very important. Do not. If you keep it to yourself, ah, don't let me tell you what will happen. <laughs> All right. Those of us who share it, we get more blessings to bless others. So let us close. Um, let's see. Bishop, um, um, Dr. Doctor, um, who opened us up in prayer? Clark opened us up in prayer. Param Jyoti, yes, sir. Your, your daughter. Let your daughter. Yes. I want her to pray for us. Yes. Can you pray in English? Pray for us. Pray blessings upon everybody. Your parents, our parents, everybody. Can you pray for us, please? Yes. Yes. Oh, bless yes. you, dear. Pray, please. Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time and this meeting and the brother bio and family and all the things. I thank for everything and, and thanks for having my prayer and amen. Oh. Amen. Oh my goodness. Out of the mouth, the mouth of the babes. Ooh, happy Mother's Day all day, all year, all month. We are family. Let us end on this. We are family. Thank you, young Thank daughter. You. Bless God for you. Glory to God. Are you family? Yes. Glory. Yes. Yes. It is Simon. All right, Amen. Well, well, Glory. Family, keep yes. it like that. Take care of the queen bee. Yes. Take care of our sisters, <laughs> whatever they are. No, protect them. Amen. Yeah. Glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Professor, one day I will also participate in the dance competition with all of you <laughs> at one <Again>. floor. Ah. We pray very soon. We will see each other so we will not be just looking at cameras. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Very soon. A bigger right. cruise is coming for all of us. We are going to yeah. cruise around the world. Oh, and bless you. Take in all our brothers and sisters. Amen. To heaven. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. All right. Good Blessings. Good night. I mean, good day. Have fun. Salam Namaste. Namaskar. Namaste.